All right, so this is our last video and the last topic that I want to cover for TypeScript, and that is type assertion or typecasting. So I'm going to paste a comment here. And as the name suggests, typecasting or type assertion is the process of treating a variable as a different type. So it's important to note that is not type converting. It is just treating it or looking at it as a different type. So let's just start with examples. Let's say we have an ID and we will set this to type any and the value of two. So of course, this ID is type any. That's what we are explicitly assigning to it. Now, let's say we have a PID or primary ID or something, and we don't want to explicitly say what is this ID, and we want to grab the ID from up here. So we are just assigning the value of ID to this PID. And if we hover over this, you can see this is also set to any implicitly. So this is explicit and this is implicit. Now, let's say I have another ID, for example, customer ID or employee ID, and we want to set this to ID, but we don't want to treat this as any type. We want to treat this as a number. And there are two ways in TypeScript to cast a type. The first way is to use the as keyword. So we have the value here and we are saying cast this ID as whatever type, for example, a number or a string or whatever type we want to use. Now, if we take a look at CID, you can see the type is set to number. So before, like up here, the type is set to any and that is inferred from this value up here. But down here, we are saying grab the same ID, but look at it as a number. So again, this does not change the type, but only how it is treated. So this is the first way using the as keyword. Another way is to use the smaller than and the greater than symbol. So I'm going to have this CID again. I want to set it to the value of ID, but I want to treat it as a number. So before the value, I can use this symbol and then pass the type within it. So again, this CID is now a number. If I change this to a string, it looks at it as a string. So for example, if I say this is a number and let me change this to 22 just so I have two characters. And let's log CID.length. You notice we have an error here because this length does not exist on a type number. So that is simple JavaScript. But if I change this to a string, you notice the error is gone because now it is looking at this CID as a string. Therefore, the methods that are available on a string, I can use it. But let's go to terminal and see if this actually gives us two that is the length of our ID. So if I run that command again, you notice we get undefined because we are technically using this length on this any type and that is not going to work. That's why it's important to note this is not type conversion and it is just type assertion and just looking at it differently. It doesn't change the nature of that type. And that's all there is about type assertion and also the end of our crash course. But before we end this series, I want to add that this is not everything about type TypeScript. There are a lot more to it and it can get a lot more advanced than that. We can have generic types and it can be very useful in the larger projects. But I personally would not use TypeScript if I'm working on a project alone because I would know what I'm doing and I know the values that I need to pass but it is ultimately your preference. And of course, it's always good to know and learn about something that might be useful in our projects or in our career in general. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this series and it has been helpful. As always, I am grateful to all your support and see you in the future videos.